And today, the U.S. Senate voted on a border bill that would have tightened security and tackled the fentanyl crisis, but it fell short of the 60 votes required to pass. This isn't the first time the bill has not been passed by the Senate this year. News 11's Valeria Rodriguez has the latest details and what this means for our local communities. Another border bill vote fails in Congress, but the border crisis continues with thousands of migrants still crossing into our area. And according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, last month the Yuma sector saw more than 5,600 migrants cross the border. The reason the bill failed back in February, the reason the border continues to be the way it is today, is Donald Trump. Donald Trump woke up one day and decided that doing nothing on the border would help him politically. He literally said, blame me. Independent U.S. Senator Kirsten Sinema from Arizona speaking before the vote. I stand here today yet again as the border crisis continues to devastate my state. Yet she voted against it. Today's vote is not an attempt to solve the problem or provide relief to Arizona border communities. Today's vote is to send a message. But Arizona doesn't need your message. Arizona needs your help. Arizona needs action. Earlier this year, the Senate also struck down another border bill, one that Senator Sinema had taken part in creating. Democratic U.S. Senator Mark Kelly from Arizona voted yes on today's border bill and shared a statement after it failed to pass. Just like that three months ago, too many senators decided they'd rather keep talking about the problem than actually solving it. As a result, Arizona still does not have additional Border Patrol agents. Technology and personnel to stop fentanyl, officers to quickly screen asylum claims, and other tools of this bill that we need to address the border. Republican U.S. Senate candidate Mark Lamb, who was in favor of the bill that didn't pass, believes there needs to be a change on our border. Enforcing the laws on the books like Title VIII, re reinstating the Remain in Mexico program or the Remain in whatever country you're in program, until the judge has a chance to see you. The border crisis has had an effect on many local nonprofits, one of them, the Yuma County Food Bank. Saying in March there were over 700 new households they had to feed. That number rose to 950 in April. You're not really sure what the, what the origins are, but with the trends of having additional people coming into our country, you know, we can only assume that a lot of it is coming through the border. The Yuma Community Food Bank says that they're having to turn to the community even more now for support to help feed those in need. Reporting in Yuma, Valeria Rodriguez, News 11.